you. Welcome to another episode, and with Easter coming up, I thought we'd have a little fun with some egg crafts. We're going to be using glues and resins today, so this is one that you need to be a little more careful with. We're going to make ourselves a cute little nightlight. We start by making our egg a little stronger so that it will survive this process. I've used epoxy glue here, but you can also use varnish and you could paint the egg another colour underneath that protective layer of varnish if you wanted to. After the glue or varnish has dried, the next step is to extract the Edo from the egg. You will need to do this without breaking the majority of the egg of course, and I'm using an engraving tool here to cut a neat hole into the bottom in order to get to my lunch. I mean, the egg. Nothing like a dippy egg and toast, in my opinion. It takes me right back to my childhood. Now there's a safety warning on the next step. You'll need some decent gloves to work with resin because it's horrid stuff. You'll also need to use it in a well-ventilated area because it not only smells bad, but it will also give you a headache if you're not careful. Resin comes as two liquids that are mixed together in equal quantities because the chemicals react and then harden. Make sure you mix well so that you don't get soft spots. It's really worth spending a good few minutes mixing so that you don't regret it later. And it's a good workout for your arms too. Never let it be said that I don't care about you getting your daily exercise. Make sure you've cut a hole in the bottom of your egg that is big enough to pour in the resin without spilling it. It goes everywhere if you spill it and it makes a right old smelly mess that's difficult to clean up and wash off. Not that I know that from experience of course, I never mess things up or make gooey mistakes. A good tip when you've poured your resin in is to tap the sides and then you wait for rather a long time. It will take 24 hours for the resin to set, so I'm afraid this isn't a very quick craft. So while you wait, go and get on with your life. There's always some time for a quick play fight with Sprocket the Doggo in my house. While you're waiting, of course, you could sign up for my weekly newsletter. I throw you art tips, motivational stuff and information about my art courses that you won't find anywhere else because this is where the secret squirrel bonuses and discounts are kept. Just click the link below this episode and I'll set you up. I girl guy promise that I won't spam you with rubbish, just send you lovely ideas for arty things on a Sunday morning. If you want to get involved with my little arty community, find us on Facebook at Arty Mouse and connect to me on Instagram at artymouse 76 We have monthly competitions and we support each other's artworks. When your resin has set, work into the eggshell very gently to reveal the resin. I've kept mine clear, but you can add colours and glitter to your mixtures for different effects. I have a small engraving tool which you can buy for about 20 or 30 pounds. This one has many different attachments so that I can create different shapes and make lots of patterns. Again, be in a well ventilated area because you will get dusty eggshell bits. Work softly and take your time. Even with the resin underneath and the glue on top, it can still be fragile if you cut too close to one another. When you're happy with your design, wipe away the residue and give your egg a quick polish. Light the complete eggs from below with an electric tea light or an LED. They're easy to find online and in hardware stores. Be imaginative with your designs. You could theme them for particular people, write on a child's name or add bunnies for Easter and give them as an alternative to the predictable chocolate egg. I hope I've given you an idea today for something different that can be beautiful and add some atmosphere. And yes, I did eat the eggs afterwards. No sense letting a good egg go to waste. <laughs> Remember to sign up below for the newsletter and tell me in the comments what you're going to make next. I'm here to help you with all things arty. 
So let me know what you're doing so that I can help. See you soon.